If you wanna start eating better lunches and meal prepping them on your own but don't know where to start, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you three different simple and nourishing salad recipes that all revolve around this one ingredient that make all the recipes ready to eat and enjoy in less than 20 minutes. This video is also sponsored by Thrive Market and let's just get straight into the first recipe. First, we're going to be making a curry couscous chickpea salad. And if you haven't guessed what that secret quote unquote ingredient was, it is couscous. I have recently rediscovered my love for couscous, especially this finer variety, because all you have to do is add boiling water to it and then let it soak for about seven to 10 minutes and you have a fully cooked grain like thing it's technically actually not a grain it's a small pasta but it adds a lot of great fiber to these salads and helps make them a lot more filling so here i just added my couscous with a pinch of water and as you can see after soaking for a few minutes we have a nice fluffy vessel that's a great source of carbs for our salad so technically while the couscous is soaking we're going to make our dressing starting out with some avocado oil or olive oil we're also adding in some apple cider vinegar and the juice of one small lime which is about two tablespoons and then we're adding in some spices we have curry powder garlic powder cayenne pepper and some kosher salt i have the full amounts listed on my blog post which is linked in the caption of this video i love making salad dressings in jars because all you have to do is seal it up and shake until the dressing is emulsified, which in my opinion is a lot less work than whisking it up. And for our salad, we're going to add some canned chickpeas, some shredded carrots, slivered almonds, and then here I am adding some raisins, but you could also use cherries or cranberries if you'd like. And last but not least, we're going to be adding some chopped cilantro, then we'll pull our dressing on top and mix everything together. I'm actually using the pre-shredded carrot that you can get from the grocery store here, which makes this recipe even easier. Basically, all you need to do is soak some couscous, chop some cilantro, and whip up a really quick dressing and combine everything in a bowl. And I love how this is nice and hearty and filling. You can enjoy this right away, or I like to transfer it into glass jars and have it for easy lunches throughout the week. The only thing I love more than making my own healthy and nourishing recipes at home is saving money while doing so, which is why I'm so glad Thrive Market is the sponsor of this video. Thrive Market is an online grocery store whose mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. I got my couscous that I've been using all these recipes from Thrive Market, along with this haul of a mix of pantry staples and snacks in my latest order. Thrive Market makes it so easy to filter your options and choose products that are best for you and your lifestyle, whether you're vegan, gluten-free, or want to prioritize certain filters like organic or women founded businesses. They have so many options on their website and honestly I save money every time I shop there. A lot of these products I can't find at my grocery store that's local to me or they're cheaper on Thrive Market. In my latest order I got their organic extra virgin olive oil as well as their avocado oil, some fire roasted bell peppers, this organic couscous that you've been seeing in the recipe videos some organic pine nuts. Oh, and I also got this avocado oil cooking spray that I love to use when roasting vegetables. I also got some harissa, some chocolate covered espresso beans for a fun snack. And I love buying Thrive Market's spice blends because I already have a spice jar at home. These are super affordable and they give you a lot of spice for the price. So I got some organic curry powder and an organic Mediterranean tar blend. And then last but not least, I got a few more snacks because I love my snacks. I am obsessed with these einkorn crackers. If you've seen my past live market hauls, you've definitely seen these. And then I also wanted to try some new to me snacks. So I got these chips from Siete Foods. We have some grain-free dip chip tortilla chips, as well as some chili lime grain-free puff snacks. I'm very excited to try both of these. And they're both made with avocado oil. Thrive Market has guaranteed savings on every single order and they have two membership options so you can really make it work for you. You can pay $12 for month to month or you can pay annually and pay only $5 a month to get access to all of these fantastic deals. Also, I saved almost $40 on my last order. So if that's not showing you the guaranteed savings, I don't know what is. If you live in the United States and want to check out Thrive Market, go to thrivemarket.com slash shoemaker and you'll get 30% off of your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60. And this is in addition to their already great prices that they have on the website. So it really is a fantastic deal. If you wanna check it out, I'll have the link in the description of this video. Now let's get back to the next recipe. I wonder what we'll be using. Couscous? 
Next up, we're going to be making a sort of Tex-Mex twist on a couscous salad. This is a black bean couscous salad with chipotle lime dressing. I love this recipe because it gives me all those Tex-Mex flavor vibes, but it's very easy to put together instead of waiting for like rice to cook. And I just like how the couscous makes it a little bit more filling than just a bean and veggie salad. So this time we're soaking our couscous with a little bit of garlic powder and salt just to infuse a little bit more flavor into it. And then for the rest of our salad, we'll be using some canned black beans. You can also cook your own if you want. Some sliced tomatoes, a bell pepper. I'm using an orange here, but red would be fine. Plus some chopped red onion and cilantro. And then this time for our dressing, we're doing a chipotle lime dressing. So we'll add in some avocado oil some lime juice and I am adding in some chipotle pepper that I mashed up. You could also just use the adobo sauce. This adds some nice smoky spicy flavor, but it's not too spicy. We're also sweetening it with a touch of agave and a little bit of salt. And again, we're just going to shake this up until our dressing looks nice and creamy and emulsified. Then we'll just pour that over our salad and you know, same process here. We're going to mix it up and then you can enjoy right away or transfer into jars. Personally, I love these for meal prep because the salad just seems to taste better after you let it sit longer because all of your veggies are marinating in that dressing and the peppers in this stay nice and crunchy. So I think the salad has a lot of nice textural variation though. If you did want more crunch, you could top it with something like pumpkin seeds too. I love anything Tex-Mex inspired. So this one is a big hit for me. And last but not least, we're going to be making a carrot couscous salad. This recipe is a bit more Moroccan inspired. Again, we're going to start by soaking a cup of couscous in some water with a pinch of salt. And like I said earlier, couscous is actually a pasta, but if you are gluten-free, you could easily make this with quinoa. And if you want it to be just as fast, you could cook it in the Instant Pot or buy pre-cooked quinoa. And for this recipe, we're going to be using a lot of chopped carrots. So to save time, I just process them in my food processor. And also I like the smaller crunchy chunks of carrot in this recipe, but that being said, if you can't be bothered, just use that pre-shredded carrot that we used in our curry chickpea salad. And we're going to be making a sweet and smoky dressing. So we'll start with some olive oil plus the zest of one lemon and the juice of two lemons. Then we're going to be adding between two and three teaspoons of harissa, which is a spicy paste. You can get a mild version if you'd like. I like to add a little bit of heat. We're also adding some crushed garlic, smoked paprika, and about half of a teaspoon of salt. And again, we're going to shake this up and mix it until it's nice and emulsified. And as always, you can get the full recipe on my blog. It is linked in the description of this video. So now that our couscous is done soaking and has slightly cooled off, we're going to add some cans of white beans. I like these because they're a little bit creamier and they contrast nicely with our crunchy chopped carrot. And then we're also going to be adding some sliced red onion and some parsley. And then this time for a little bit of extra crunch and creaminess, I'm adding some toasted pine nuts. So we'll pour our lemon olive oil dressing on top and mix everything together until it's evenly distributed. It looks so good. I love how vibrant the colors are in this one. And I don't eat a lot of Moroccan cuisine or Moroccan inspired food. So it was really fun to cook with the harissa and I really enjoyed the flavor. So I definitely think I'm going to have to use it in more of my cooking. And I just topped it with some extra pine nuts on top for a beautiful garnish. And then we have this gorgeous salad that you can eat as a light lunch or honestly, even a nice light dinner too. And those are my three couscous salad recipes. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Tell me which one of these recipes was your favorite or if you have any other recipe suggestions. The full recipes are as always linked in the description of this video. And I have a ton of other wholesome and filling salads on my blog, whether you want bean based pasta salads, veggie packed, we have a salad for you. I almost guarantee. Thanks again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to go to thrivemarket.com slash shoemaker to join Thrive Market today, where you can get 30% off of your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60. And you can also check out their bar and snack sale that's going on right now. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Bye.